What's going on guys, Dizzy here, and we're back playing some more La in the Woods 2. That's right guys. Oh, we're breaking stuff. <laughs> Starting off wrong already. Oh, let me put this back. Oh yeah, for those of you guys that wanted to know what these little guys are right here, um, they're from the Yi Kamel Chattel mod, and they're just small little red banners. So if you go over them, all you gotta do is do this, and they're super simple to make. Just some wool, a stick, and you get two of those guys. And you can dam, whatever color you want. Um, I don't think there's any specific way um, that you can change this, like little pattern that they have. So you kind of just stuck with them. But they look pretty fancy, right? So um, yeah guys, we're gonna just jump right into it. So it looks like we got a new trade villager friend that moved into our little neighborhood, right? So let's just go check them out real quick. Looks like a, hmm, what could this be? Anybody want to take a guess? We have a fishing net, a squid, some more fishing stuffs, little hangling dangling fish, and pheasants. So I don't know what the pheasants do there, but um, yeah, so it's a mystery man, guys. Mystery man that sells fish stuffs. Yeah, well, I don't know if I like you. Hmm, don't really know. But guys, guess what we're doing today, guys? Yeah, I know, I know. I had promised you guys a while back that um, we're going to be taking a little trip, guys. A little trip back to our house, right? <laughs> and then we're going to be heading all on out. Oh, wait, real quick, real quick. I just want to show you guys something. Look at this. <laughs> just look at this. So, um, yeah, we're kind of getting a little crazy with this chest. We're just dumping way too much stuff in there. And look at this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, all of that stuff was inside of our chest and my frames are dropping like crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this off for now. Hopefully, hopefully it looks amazing still. <laughs> Ooh, it's actually a little, oh, it's a little dark. That's probably why. Let's take a quick nap, shall we? All right, we shall. All right, but yeah, so I had promised you guys a while back that um, we we're gonna be taking a little trip. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It does not look too bad. I still like it. It's, very pretty. All right, so we're gonna head on back to our house because uh, there was something that we meant to do, and we haven't done it yet, guys. We haven't done it, so we're gonna be doing it. Can anybody guess what that is? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be taking a trip, and some of you may have already been here before with me once, but uh, it was a quick trip, so I think. Uh, oh man, this thing's getting overrun. We gotta come back here and clean this path up. We haven't been here forever. Look at this. Yo, weeds everywhere. Oh, and the zombie horse is still there. No one ever told me how to get that zombie horse to become my friend, so it's still just chilling, hanging around my house. So if you guys know how to turn a little zombie friend horse into um, one that we can actually ride around, that'd be amazing. So uh, let me know. All right, so yeah, we're going out here, ladies and gentlemen. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? And skadoosh. Hopefully we don't explode like last time. <laughs> yeah, literally last time we were here, um, all kinds of bad stuff happened, so we should take it a little bit easy this time. All right, so the reason we're back here, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that don't know, we attempted this once and we got like nowhere. So I think this time we're a little bit more geared up. Um, and I, I think, I think I may have, do I have a little page with me? Uh oh, I may have come unprepared once again. Oh no, wait. Unbound page. All right, cool. So this is going to be like our little escape route. Hold on. See, I already lost the portal. So wherever the portal is, that's where we need to place this little guy. Um, I don't know where our portal is. Hold on, we're going to use our magical ability to jump really high. <laughs> and we're going to set our portals. It's somewhere over here, guys. No, no. All right, give me one second while I spend the next like two hours looking for something that I know is going to be here. All right. All right. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> and we found it. <laughs> all right. So there's two ways we can do this. First, we can just do this, which is portal. All right. And we just go like that. And then we open up our little book and we plop them down in there like so. So now we want to go back. Bam. There we go. So we can just come right back here. Um, another thing I can do since we have it installed is I could add a waypoint um, But I want to reduce the amount of time that we use the waypoints because I feel that's a little cheaty <laughs> Not that a freaking portal warp book isn't cheaty, but hey, we earned those All right, so uh, what I'm looking for is a lynch tower 
Now we do have a little magical um, map. I don't know if I brought it with me though. I don't think so. Um, let's check. Why would it be in Batanias? Yeah, I don't think I brought. Oh, you know what? We should probably get geared up because um, we have n n literally no armor. So at least that will somewhat help us out. All right, so I'm gonna be looking for a lynch tower. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of those guys before, but um, yeah, all this stuff has been updated so much that now you can't really just go and explore everything. You have to do it in order. And the first thing on the list is to take care of uh, the lynch guy. Oh wait, maybe we could take care of this guy. I think we already attempted once to kill this guy and it didn't work. So let's see if we can get him this time. Are you still in here, sir? Sir, he's gonna pop up out of nowhere, huh? Hello? Anybody here? Oh, I think we may have killed him. No, because everything's still nice and intact. What is this? Raw venison. Oh, so someone died. Alright. I guess I'll take it. Alright, so let me let me find out where this lunch time. Oh yeah, we, we may have killed this guy. <laughs> Everything's all broken. Okay, see, this is what I was talking about right here. So, this stuff, we can't go past this, right? Um, according to the books that I found. So, you have to go and kill the bosses in order to unlock other places. So, that's the first thing on our list of stuff to kill. So, let's um, head on out. And I will just talk to you guys a little bit about um, what's going to be going on with the pack. Because last video, in case you guys didn't watch, you guys can go down there in the description. I'll put a little link down for those of you that missed that episode. You can go watch that real quick and get caught up. Um, but if you did watch it, then you will have known that we were running into some issues with um, to be the Beast Launcher not getting back to me. They didn't reject the pack or anything. It's just they didn't get back to me as far as... Um, getting it on the on the what's it called the little launcher right so um i actually have a couple of buddies that have l had their own packs on the uh feed the beast launcher oh man i want to go over there look at that that looks freaking amazing oh why can't we go wait can we let's see we'll just we'll just try to sneak in there real quick no we can't go in there look at that it's all blocked off yeah i mean you can if you really want to but you'll die yeah, so that's that's probably not a good thing. All right, so we'll just keep we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Um, so yeah, so pretty much the way it works is if you try to make your own mod pack, um, well, if you try to do it legit, you have to get permission from all the different mod developers, right? And as you guys know, I have a lot of really weird mods in here that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys um, that like saw my series either have never heard about or sounded interesting and yeah they're they're pretty damn interesting that's why i chose them for the pet oh what are you oh you're in a scary forest aren't you are you mean you're a lost miner sir what do you do can i talk to you you don't look very friendly i'll tell you that hey sir do you need, do you need something Huh? Do you need something? Oh shit! Oh shit, son! Oh, he's after me! <laughs> oh, I can't see anything now. That's horrible. Alright, hold on. Let me take care of this guy. Oh, you have a book for me. Alright. Let me see your book. What does your book say? Notes on a Stronghold. An explorer's notebook written on faintly glowing paper. The tendrils of darkness surrounding this area are just as mani- are just a manifestation of a protective spell over the entire dark forest. The spell causes blindness, which is quite vexing. I have seen several interesting things in the area and would like to keep exploring. Next entry. I have found ruins in a dark forest. They belong to a stronghold of a type usually inhabited by knights. Rather than knights though, this stronghold is full of goblins. They wear knightly armor, but their behavior is most unknightly. Next entry. Keep in the ruin or deep in the ruins, I have found a pedestal. The pedestal seems to be a type that knights would place trophies on to prove their strength. Killing a powerful creature would seem to weaken the curse on the dark forest, and placing a trophy associated with a creature on the pedestal would likely grant access into the main stronghold 
main part of the stronghold. The only creature I have seen so far seen so far of sufficient power is a many-headed beast in the fire swamp. How vexing. So we got to kill, a, I'm guessing, a Hydra in order to be able to go in there. Now, what does this guy want? Sir, what do you what do you want? A lost miner. Hmm. Get, give me your emeralds. Ow, ow. Oh shit. Why does that hurt me? Holy chuttles. <laughs> oh, look it. There's a nose on the floor. <laughs> Come here, you. Stupid nose. Shame on me. Why shame on me? <laughs> I have no clue what just happened. Come here. Give me this. Oh, and we got a dead villager body. All right, so we're just going to start dumping all of our treasures in here. We got a cross, we got that, and a dead villager. So, one emerald equals one package pig. Okay. Oh, shit, son. What the fuck is right here? Oh, God. There's something right there. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe we should get away from this place. This place is dangerous. Alright. Anyway. Oh, wait. What's this? What is you? Ender? Okay, we might need this. We'll steal some of this stuff. Alright, so anyways. <laughs> before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, so yeah, so the way it works is you pretty much got to get permissions from all of the different mod developers, right? And as you guys know, some of the mod developers that were working on some of the mods that I have in this mod pack are no longer working on the mod packs. So they'll never get updated. Um, they basically just do exactly what they're supposed to and that's it. So it's kind of a tricky situation. Either I can get rid of the mods, which would mean that you guys don't get to play with some of the cool mods like uh, Bubblicious because that one's gone. Like the mod developer, he gave up on this mod. And he basically just made, I gave him a list of cool um, stuff to add to his mod. And pretty much he updated it once and that was it. He basically said, all right, I'm done. And there was no more, no more updates, but we got what we needed. So we have the growth, um, the little pendant of growth. Where are you? This guy, amulet of growth. And we got the ring of flight. So that's really the only two things I wanted from that. Uh, but he did make some other cool stuff for it, um, which I, we still haven't got to and we will definitely be playing with Because um, I want to explore all the mods together But yeah, so there's the problem um, Some of these mods, they're not gonna be available to the general public, right? So I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna make the pack with every single mod included or if I'm gonna make um, like a a smaller version of the pack I guess you could say like a lighter version that doesn't include um, some of the some of the mods that we couldn't get permissions from now I'm pretty sure um, I could hit him up and be like hey um, can you just like say that you gave me permission to use this inside the pack and he would totally be down to just say that right and I'm gonna collect these guys because these would make perfect little decoration blocks um, but I'm not sure if the Feed the Beast team is going to be cool with that. Like, hey, so here's here's him saying yes. And then here's a screenshot. Because you literally, unless they have like open permissions, um, which they have a list of all the mods that have open permissions for mod packs. Um, you have to go and provide... Oh, shit. Someone's mad. Someone's mad. Oh, 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 poor is he? All right, just leave me alone. Let me do my thing. We're kind of busy. And I'm talking here. All right. So, um, yeah, they have a list of all the mods that have open permission. So you can just include those in your pack and they'll check them against that. And if they're on the, the list, then you're good to go. Um, and most of those are your typical, um, like thermal expansion and stuff like that. Right. I'm not quite sure what's on the list. Um, didn't even bother to look at it. I was just hoping that all the mods would be on there. That way it could save me all the troubles. But it's not. That's not how it works, ladies and gentlemen. You actually have to do some work to get it going. So not only did it take me forever to get this mod pack nice and balanced for you guys, so that it wouldn't be super OP and everything wouldn't be spawning like a bajillion ores everywhere. Um, but now I have to figure out 
which mods to leave in, which ones to take out. Um, how I'm going to get specific written permissions from everybody. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's pretty much a big, huge headache, which in the long run, it'll be super amazing because <laughs> then I'll learn how to get the mod packs. Um, what's it called cleared by feed the beast. Cause I mean, I could, like I said in previous videos, I could literally just go and, um, grab all the mods that I have in the mod folder, put them in a zip folder with along with the configs and just do a tutorial video on how to install it yourself but it's kind of shady right and so far everybody has has agreed with me that that's probably not the best way to go about things oh shit oh 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 let's get out of here let's get out of here um so yeah so i don't really want to go down that route because that's kind of the worst route to go in my opinion um, other people may have different opinions, but yeah, I just I just don't want to do that especially since now um, I've become friends with a lot of the mod developers and I see how much work goes into them and if I do that Then they basically get no credit for it. You guys just get to play all the mods enjoy them and They get no credit for it. So it's kind of unfair to them um, So yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at right now as far as the uh, mod pack update so I just want to give you guys a quick update as far as that goes so you guys know what to expect um, going forward. But yeah, so we might be losing a couple of little mods here and there. Um, but but I have some really cool mods that I've been checking out. So if they're on the list of uh, like approved, I guess, quote unquote, approved mods um, or I can get written permission from them, then we will go ahead and use those. So, um, yeah, if anybody's like super pro at getting th these kind of things done, you guys should uh, totally hit me up because that that would probably help all of us out and we would totally <laughs> get this thing done a lot quicker because, um, yeah, it's this is literally the first mod pack I've ever done. So I'm, I'm pretty damn new to this and I love me these little things. Only problem is they always, always seem to be infested with tons of mobs. So let's let's try this real quick. We're gonna take this off and put that guy on. Oh, check that out. Oh shit, that was already loaded? I did not know that. All right, oh, it leaves bullet holes now? What? Oh, nice. I did not even know that. Look at that. That's sick. All right, so let's load this up real quick. Oh man, look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try to sneak in and try to take his oh shit. Creeper spawner. We need we need a creeper spawner. I mean not that we don't already have like fifteen thousand creeper spawners, but one more will not hurt. And skadoosh. Hey. Oh damn it. I used the wrong one. You have to use a silk touch one. Oh my, oh right there, silk touch. So let me grab that, put that away. Fuck. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> this thing's so amazing. Yeah, and if you didn't know, you can put... Oh god. Oh god. Well, there goes all that. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, let's just go steal what we can and then we'll get on that again. Oh shit. See, now what would be cool. Oh, see that? Quick scope? Yeah, you guys know you like that. Oh fuck. How am I getting hurt so bad? Good thing I'm not paying attention to my freaking health at all. That's amazing. Alright, let's put away all this junk. And I do have <laughs> pretty much all of my loot items out. I was like, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get attacked by everything that's bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab up all my loot items. Um, let me put away my Batania bag because that should not be out. All right. So we'll grab this. And restock. All right. Hey, sir. Why is you? Are you already loaded? Oh, you're locked and loaded, aren't you? Right, we don't want that. 
Um, let's see what else we got. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. I'm just gonna steal as much stuff as possible and get out. Uh, nope, nothing good there. Whoa, those guys are pretty dangerous. There we go, not that dangerous. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. Just look at it. This one's actually really big. Oh, that's why. Look at you being all sneaky and just hiding up here. Give me that. Give me this. Oh shit. Hold on. Did that give it? No, I didn't. Damn it. Why? Did... All the fails. All the fails. All right, let me put this stuff away. So, for whatever reason, that silk touch pick, it doesn't work. Hmm. I think it might be because the mod is specifically looking for Silk Touch 1, which we should have. Yeah, right there. See? We have a Silk Touch. I know we did. Because you guys saw how many freaking... Um, well, I don't know if you guys looked, but I have probably like a good 20 um, spawners that we got from that dungeon. So we're kind of set on spawners, but uh, we could always use more, right? Oh, okay. Okay, just leave me alone. I'm just stealing stuff here. Ooh, pumpkin pie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made pumpkin pie, like, legit. I think I've only gotten it in, like, mini games playing with other people. Alright, let's see. Alright, so let's test it out. So if it works, it should just be able to break. Fuck you. There we go. See that? See how See how we did? Uh, give me, give me, give me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What's in here? Nothing good. <laughs> am I get? Am I getting? No, no, we're good. We're good, right? Are we good? Okay, we're good. Okay, I don't think this is turning out to be even worth it. Yeah, there's not even anything good in these. Usually, you find some really cool stuff. You find diamonds. You find emeralds. But so far, I'm not finding anything good. And this thing is massive. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen one this big. Oh, I could be lying. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I've never seen one this big. Alright, that's what she said. Alright, so let's go look around real quick. Um, did I already check that one? Yeah, that's the one I didn't grab. Right, let's check in this one. And a Naga Scale. Hopefully they're Naga Scales, because that's probably the only thing that's going to be worth it. Ooh, I see one over there. I see one over there. Let's just run past all this. What's in here? Oh, we don't need flower pots. No, I'm good with flower pots. What's in here? Oh, okay, okay. You can have that stuff back. I don't want your bone and whatever else that was. Ooh, what's this? Fossils? Oh, bones. I like how it looks all amazing. Ooh, gotta hide from that guy. He looks pretty pissed. <laughs> Do you guys know if there's a mod that allows you to tame other mobs? Like, because if you really, if you think about it, like those or like a spider would be pretty cool to. Holy shit! Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? You got flying freaking heads. That cannot be. Oh shit! Oh shit! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! And this is where we do this portal. Oh. Holy jeebus. Okay, let me uh recover my health real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so I think I think we should be good to go, guys. Should be good to go. But <laughs> guess what, guys? Guess what? Yeah, yeah, we hit that point. <laughs> I know. I know you guys don't like it. Neither do I. But we got to do it. We got to do it, guys. So I think we're going to cut it off here, guys. I don't know. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you go down there, smash that like button. It lets me know that you guys did enjoy this episode and it gives me all kinds of motivation to keep making these videos for you guys. And hey, if this is the first time you checked out my channel and you did enjoy this little explore, explore, explore episode, why don't you uh, head on down there, hit that subscribe button. It's the only way you're going to find out when we come back and look for that damn lynch tower. But guys, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'm Dizzy Aaron and I am out.